I know I do. It is your favorite. Oh, sport. Citadel That's is going keep... Diddy and Lunar is going Chrome. Diddy mm, Ball. I want to replay Diddy Kong Racing. And I'm like, I don't really have a good way to do this. Especially if I want to do it on stream. Uh oh. Oh, that was a crazy kill. Alright, let me just get this tweet out. Okay, I like the, uh, I like the, uh, the pursuit that Citadel has right now. He's making it really hard for Lunar to, to disengage. Is this... I want to see Lunar play a little more aggressive with how he's, like, uh, with how he's approaching Citadel. Citadel is just swinging at him every chance he gets, and it's winning the interactions because Lunar's trying to wait for specific on button. This is pretty good. He's getting some good pressure on him. And <laughs> just that's all right, so so it's taking that first stock, not taking too much damage. Yeah, I mean like fast small characters can definitely like uh, gain quite a bit from all the dimensions of movement on battlefield. But Chrome is also pretty fast, big swings. He's, not, he's definitely not as small, but he's about as fast, if not a little bit faster than. Him, yeah. So. Yeah. No, Roy Roy Chrome just they like they they fly in the air. It's actually terrifying. They're what? Okay. Uh, he didn't back up far enough. The fact that a lot of characters, like the range in uh, in roll distance off the ledge is so huge in this game, is still like messing me up. Like Beef, it's like one of the really like it, not really infamous, but she's like one of the most, most egregious examples of uh, variable roll distance. But uh, Diddy's got a really good one too. I think that was an up tilt, uh, finishing the stock there. He's at a bit of a disadvantage, but he should be able to, to come back if he gets a few good hits. Last time he was able to get something started, he got a solid 60%. Ooh. Oh, So remind me, is is knockback reduction from crouching in this game? Yeah, it's in every game. I don't, I don't game. believe it is. It's in every hmm? game. So it is still in this game, okay. Yeah. And so he barely survived that S-Smash because he had just enough reduction for trying to do it to death. Ooh, okay. Pretty even-ish. That Lunar needs like one good swing and there he goes. He takes the lead for the first time in the match. Yeah, Lunar turning around. Mm-hmm. Yep, Citadel can take this with one hit, but he's got to find it first. Honestly, uh, Ron is the kind of character that can swing multiple times. Her interaction and that air dodge in will seal the stock that's in really, Citadel's favor. Yeah, that's a really hard position to be in. So it's just, just like, the in hindsight, the answer to that is just like, what, air dodge up? So you can just like try and grab the ledge after and stay out mm -hmm. of it. But like, that's such a scary position to be in. Ooh! Ooh. A little bit of poor DI and that would have been the stock right there. Yeah. Dead even. Woo, forward smash. Dead even? Dead Diddy. Yeah. Diddy got just like cleaved in half, bro. I will cut a path. Diddy has one of the best like shock screens when he gets hit by like a super strong move. Well, on let's see screen. it again. I just love how like wh how much more expressive he becomes. Get out of here. Or something. I was like, Rah! And bro, you sliced that monkey in half. What the fuck? That's really messed up. Okay. Why hasn't it started yet? Oh, okay. What's a song, by the way? Samur's Kingdom. Oh. Damn, dude. Yeah, I remember this. This is like the world that you spend like five minutes in and you like fight like three battles and then it gets destroyed, right? I don't remember. Yeah, I just remember like Super Mario. Mario. I was really disappointed. I was like, yo, this uh, this world theme's kind of a jam. I'm really enjoying it. Oh, I never got to come back here again. 
And I've only been here for like 15 minutes? Damn. Mm -hmm. Three, two, I'm, so, I'm a sucker one, for Shamisen, like in music. And, um. Ooh. All right, so Citadel opt in to go to PS2. Uh, just more space. Maybe he got a little bit too claustrophobic. He was like, okay, my man's is kind of moving and kind of swinging, and I don't have swords for arms, and he has an arm and a sword at the end of that arm, and that's kind of nuts. I mean, Diddy has two sword legs, so what's the problem? Wait, ooh, okay. Good parries all around, really. Uh, yeah, <laughs> all right, yeah. Yeah, they both made a big boy read, and uh, neither of them really worked out that great. But Citadel was the one that committed to the last committal thing, so... You got the kill. All right, Citadel again. the first blood here for game two. Oh. You know, the uh, the fact that they're not on Battlefield anymore gives, does not give Crom nearly as much vertical movement. Diddy's uh, vertical movement is great, the problem is that he, his bread and butter, honestly, is trying to get kills via ground-to-ground -ground interaction, which Battlefield's really sniping his that. Like, yeah, he can run away, and he can definitely do air-to-air -air combat, but people are going to be living super long because they can use the platforms to their advantage on Battlefield, specifically, if he's not able to, uh, to land some kind of hit or get a kill. All right, so they'll able to get past the edge guard, making it back on the stage. Puts himself at the edge, uh, but Lunar not really approaching, so it's not really forfeiting stage control. If they're not going to pressure, but that back air going to finally take out that first stock there. That was really well spaced. That was like basically the tip. Oh no! I mean, oh right, yeah, because well, you know, yeah, if it was Roy, would have gotten nowhere. Yeah, but he did like max range, and that was very well placed. Okay. Ah, I could have just been an up smash and that would have been it too, but uh, Citadel going with the safer option and going down to Elvis. Porter might take the stock if Citadel didn't get it at the ledge. Oh, just fishing for an up air, up, there, up smash, and uh, Lunar just dropped right into it. Alright, that is a pretty bad position now. Deep. Yeah, Citadel so only had 50 damage. Alright, where Lunar has to take this stock and then the one right after. Because it's right now even in terms of percentages, so Citadel's kind of sitting pretty comfy with that extra stock. Yep, you gotta remember, uh, one really good read from Lunar is that stock can evaporate. And a barely, a barely missed base. Ah! See, yep, and an F smash taking it out from center stage. Alright. Lunar able to make nice, quick work, and uh, now put this in a very winnable position here. If he wins this, he wins the set. And he doesn't have to worry about any adaptations. Oops, that might... Oh. I like the fact that Lunar is trying to cover as many options as he can when Citadel's on the ledge. Uh, either by trying to read, like, hard read a, a roll in or just jump out, depending on, like, what he feels like Citadel's been doing over the past over the, the past interactions. And just like that, Lunar actually has a pretty firm lead. He's got to be a little careful. Uh, if he lets up his pressure at all, this can evaporate and turn into a win for Citadel. And that might actually be it. Yep. Peace out. Dang. Alright. I, I, Citadel kind of barely pulling that one out. And honestly, so like... You know, the fault really lies with uh, with Lunar for unfortunately getting hit out of his second jump. And that just put him so low. Yep, yep there, there it is. is. If he hadn't uh if he hadn't jumped if he hadn't tried to jump back into the stage, he would have been fine. He could have just landed and then resumed uh neutral. But uh that one mistake, man, Krom is Krom's got an okay recovery as long as you're getting like knocked back the full distance. But uh if you get hit by like a love tap and you get sent like sky even kind of low, Krom can have a super hard time coming back because his, uh, he's not very floaty. He's actually, he falls really fast. So he doesn't have that much room for, uh, for aerial drifts. Unless he's already high to begin with or he has a second jump. Man, what, a, what an F smash that one was.
Yeah, man, it was the the turn. It was honestly the turning point of the match. In, in, uh, he definitely could have brought it but... back. So... He was definitely winning. Yeah. Also, uh, Citadel with the uh, kind of disrespect, not really disrespect, when you're like not sure if your opponent's gonna make it back or not, so you just put out a spike over the ledge. So you can be like, yeah, I'm gonna just stuff his recovery if he comes back. I definitely found myself in that situation playing uh, spike characters. Oh, it looks like Lunar is changing uh, something. Changing the stage, perhaps? Where are we going? Let's see. Alright, we're going to Town and City. Uh, that is a favorite of Krom mains. Yeah, high ceiling, close walls. Mm hmm. It makes it really easy. It makes it really hard for them to get, uh, to just get straight up gimmicked by a knockback. And they end up, uh, and the fact that the ceilings are pretty high music can usually DI things up and away, and they'll have a much easier time making it back. Three. Here we go. One, so, yep. Go. Like you said, going to town and city. Uh, high ceiling, close walls. And, uh, yep. yep. A pretty good recipe of success for, uh, for um, Especially because he mostly kills off the side. It's very rare that he's killing directly unless he's surviving to a very high percent, so he just lands a really good up smash rate. It was the fact that uh, the platforms do offer an opportunity for a looter to disengage when he really needs to. Uh, Diddy has a few things he can do against an opponent that's standing on a platform, such as a monkey flip or try to throw an aerial, but they're, they all tend to require him to, uh, to completely cede stage control to do that. So he's got to be very careful with how he uses them. There is the aspect of, oh, it turns into FD every once in a while, but that's very limited compared to the amount of time that the platforms are out and about. Oh. Really good. Yeah, there to finish the stock from, uh, from Lunar. Yeah, Lunar gonna get that first. Uh, first kill, that run off there. It's one of the things where it's just like, when you kind of know the pattern of like when Diddy's gonna do monkey flip for recovery. You're just like, yeah, this is the zone right here. So now. That was actually the first time that Lunar has Ooh. taken stock by a Gimp like that. We're not really Gimp, but just uh, going out to meet Sid yeah, now. Super yeah. far out. It was just a straight up edge guard. Like, get out of here. Oh yeah, you can see like Citadel's looking for the opportunity to get some kind of banana hit. And up smash isn't gonna be enough. Uh, the high ceiling for uh, Town City really coming into play in the favor of Lunar here. But not the second time. Gonna get that yep. stock. 80 damage, like that's a lead. Oh, ooh, this is becoming very solid, especially in this uh, stage control situation here. All yeah. right, Citadel finally gets some uh, footing. But is kind of struggling to find an in, and within that, ends up getting juggled and back right off the side. Now with a full stock lead here for Lunar. Yeah, we have an even bigger, uh, we have an even bigger lead than we saw the last game, where Citadel has to like make up so much ground now. Of course, he can always, uh, if he gets any kind of momentum shift, and that's a big problem. Scrum, so you got to look for some kind of momentum. Uh, if you have your, if you're always on the back foot, you're gonna have a really hard time against it. But once you get a little bit of uh, stability, ooh, very good. Citadel's doing a great job right now. He hasn't been touched. He's been racking on all the damage. If he keeps this up, he can definitely win this set here. But speaking yeah. a little bit too soon, Lunar's definitely seen what he's throwing and began to catch those fists. Citadel just needs one really good, uh, one really good string now to finish off the stock. The leader, he just wants to rack up whatever extra damage he can. 
All that right. sword stance just barely whiffing. We got an even game here. And yeah, Citadel Gang. Uh, okay, not not too much. All right, keeps it going. Yeah, good monkey flip. Uh oh, uh oh. All right. Hey, Lunar is just kind of occupying the space. It's definitely a uh, fighting ghost kind of situation where he's looking, he's hoping that Citadel is going to do a certain thing that's going to give him a free hit because he knows that it's mostly safe for him to throw to swing to throw it out. Huh, huh. Citadel hasn't really been giving it to him. Oh, uh, ah, if that kick. was regular monkey flip, that would have been uh, pretty good. Yeah, that would have granted him the stage control he needed to really turn to finish turning around the game. And yeah. now we have normal get up <sighs> on banana. I don't know what you were expecting there. Um, I mean, sometimes you just like don't. I don't know, man. <laughs> Did he really just yell change? Anything can change. Was that what he said? Yes. I literally heard him just say change, and I'm like. Oh, no. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry to offend you, bro. Man, I'm sorry. Jeez. I, I, I didn't realize that me and you staying the same is a problem for you. Let's see if this has started yet. Uh, I think I started yet. And a Lunar with a pretty good upset there. Well, oh, that's not upset, upset, but he did pretty well. Good job. And now we're waiting for our next set. Uh, for other upsets, we have uh, Brown, a Wii Fit Trainer, beating both Crash and Flap. Man, what's with the Wii Fit Trainers these past two weeks? And people just realize that she's really good. Which, I mean, you know, like, we were ahead of the curve on that one. Yeah, September 2020 is when they all realized it. <laughs> 